I'm here at Backdoor Piping and HVAC, and they are building the top caps for our chimneys. And I contacted them because they're a local company that can do the job. And two, I've seen some of their work, and I really want to see that on our house as well. So right now, today, we're in their shop showing how they build some of it. So this is Jesse. He is their sheet metal guy, and he's got a lot of stuff bent, prepped, and ready to go in. Now what's cool about this company is ours are gonna be black, but they can do copper, they can do pretty much anything you wanna order, they can do it and build it to that. So if you're interested in that, I will leave their information in the link down below. This is a snap lock machine and it creates the male and female ends on this ducting. And you remember me putting it in on our own house, all that ducting and how it clip, how it snaps together is by this. So he's gonna run some of this material through it. So now with this process, you kind of have to think if you bend something, is that bend gonna be in the way of your next bend? So you gotta kind of think backwards a little bit, right? Correct. So that is a old trick right there. As long as I stick it in the next break, it won't deform that bend. See right in there? Oh yeah, yeah. Hit that flange. This allows it to just roll out of the way. Here we go. There you go, 90. the brake and then this little guy sits in there. We bend. You can't even tell we bend it out of the way. I'd say. Put that on there. Open up. There. So do you guys specialize in a lot of ducting or more ornamental? Yeah. We build we build duct for other cheap metal shops in town that don't have their own shop. So these guys saw me put together our HVAC at our house, but this is where and how these pieces get built. Everything I had on hand, I bought or fitted to, to work. But if you need something custom built for all shapes, which we did have a few, have a few custom pieces built, these are the shops that are built in right here. Elbow has four parts. You got two cheeks, the right cheek and the left cheek. Then you've got a throat and a heel. Some people call it a wrapper. So we call this a radius because it's round. Mm -hmm. So cool. You've got a flange here on top. Put a little quarter inch band on top as a starter. It takes a little bit of practice to get to how much pressure. Oh, I bet. The first time Oh, wow, yeah, that really irons that out. Got a mark, so I know when to lift up. Oh, wow. Lift up 90 degrees. Oh, wow. You can run it through a roller, but the roller will compress your pixel. Ah. So. Oh my gosh, so it takes that whole piece, pinches this in place, and then this in place. So do you have to account, obviously, for how much that's curling back? Wow. So now we're to there. Gonna come back to the table. Call these hand seamers. I got me a little weight to go off. Oh, that's heavy. Yeah. That's seen some things, huh? Yeah, it's a machinist block. It's actually called a one, two, three block. Uh huh. One, two. Oh, and three, three. for dimensional. I see. Yeah. There you go. Yep, yeah, perfectly square. So I like things flat, so I'll get that out of there. That's 
better than beating on it. A lot flatter. Oh yeah. Right there. Oh, now we got a big the truck, so they're a quarter inch. I've already got these prescribed at a quarter. They make a hand, a hand uh, cheek bender. Uh huh. We don't have one of those yet in this shop. So that gives us our quarter inch. It kind of helps check it for square. And then you can also use it to. Oh wow. So now we're setting this so the drives can hold all that together, yeah. correct? This could be a S and drive joint on the line. I see. Mm -hmm. So your drive cleat slides on. Oh, I see. So you're telling me today's not your first day? No, that's my second. Got a right cheek, left cheek, one throw, and here. Make sure my seam's open. Let that hold the cheek up. Oh, so if I put the throw down first, the throw holds up this end while I work on the heel. Oh, I see. So line those up. Line up your seam. Now you want to make sure you get it all in. You don't fall apart on it. Mm -hmm. Then you bend the rest of it. Flip it over. Theoretically, this side should go better because it already held into the shape of the cheek. Oh, I see. That thing, check your notches. What I like seeing is in these flat panels here, they have these cross breaks, he calls them, and that really stiffens this a lot more, which would have helped a lot when we were installing, but it also reduces sound. It's not just a piece of metal that's gonna flop all over the place. It, it really keeps its tension. That is not your grandma's wheat grinder right there. That is a, uh, that's quite the roller. Petco crimper meter. Well, this will actually put a crimp on this, so it'll go inside of the pipe. I like to go that wide. I call them a one finger dovetail. Oh. When you stick your hand in, one finger fits in between. Just that easy. <laughs> it's put together and you've got 
a perfectly good collar. That's incredible. Among all of the sheet metal goods that these guys can bend, they do fabrication for all kinds of stuff. And these are our chimney caps, like we said, and you can tell they came out and did a template on top, drew it in place, made notches for our plumbing fixtures that come out. And then these are the galvanized caps that are just the base layer. One, so it doesn't rust, and two, so it's really more structurally strong. And then they'll come back with a black aluminum that clads this, and it sits on just like so. You almost can't even tell it's there. And that way they'll be black, uh, kind of covered on the outside. Welcome to my roof, everybody, where we are finishing the last task for this roof for the year. This chimney cap is what is gonna happen to that one. So now we have our galvanized piece on that is sealed and set, and that is watertight like that. We could leave it. It would be just fine, no problem, but I want decorative. In this house, I went well out of my way to hide all of my utilities as best as possible. Some of them, it's just kind of unavoidable, but anything coming out of the roof, I didn't want it coming through the roof where it was visible. This one is not visible from anywhere on the ground, so it doesn't matter to me. These ones are visible, and so I wanted to run our actual chimneys out of them, and then all of our venting for our furnaces run out of them also. So because of that, we're putting this decorative panel on top. That decorative panel is hollow. And not only is it hollow, it actually has a gap all the way around like that that allows water to come in and go out. If you don't and you seal it tight, one, air can't get up through that you need for breathing, and two, the snow, when it comes down, it'll just settle in there, water will pull in there, it will be a miniature pool or bathtub, and we don't want that. So we lift it up off just a little bit so that there is a small gap and it allows the water out. So to make sure they cover that galvanized, mostly for decoration, so it looks and matches that black trim, they use just a little bit of black trim and run it all the way around the perimeter and it lips up underneath that. So once that's set, then they just simply set this guy on and screw it on there and it's not coming off. You guys, the chimney caps are on, both of them, and it is just in the nick of time. We had a hard freeze two nights ago, which means it is frosty and slippery, especially on the north side of that roof. I wanna thank Backdoor Piping and HVAC for the work they did on the chimneys. It was a fantastic job, and it was a pleasure going to their facilities and seeing all of the things that they're capable of doing. If you're interested in any of their work or having them do a job for you, I will link their information in the description down below. Definitely check them out. You guys, if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And if you are not getting notifications for all of the rest of the videos that we have for this house build and the shop coming up, hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. And we'll see you guys next time. These chimney toppers are 100% custom DIY.